Hello, I'm Michelle Garvel. I'm Marie Aiello. And I'm Victor Riccio. And welcome to another episode of the We Watch Show. Welcome, guys. Okay, so today we're doing our top five shows, and first on deck is The Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. So what did you guys think of this? Well, it's always a classic this time of year, you know? Yeah, it, it, you can yeah. go. <laughs> it really marks, you know, the beginning of fall and the holiday season. Oh, yeah, exactly. What's your favorite part? Oh, my favorite part is when Lucy looks at um, Linus, and he's in the pumpkin patch, and you've got those classic hearts over her head, and... Uh, animation's really cool. Yeah, um, I think my favorite part is Lucy about the entire um, episode. I mean, she is so bossy and she's in that pumpkin patch and she will not quit until she has the biggest pumpkin. I really relate to her on that one. What about you? I just really like how Charlie Brown just can never catch a break. <laughs> so like, when they go trick or treating, all the kids just get these piles of candy and then one giant rock just dollops into his bag and he just, it, he just accepts it and it's like, just, just, he knows that he's not gonna have a good time, you know? Yeah, I think that's the best part though. He's just like acceptance. Oh yeah, exactly. Like, oh, that's what makes Charlie yeah. Brown Charlie yeah, Brown, exactly. you know? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And Charlie Brown will be airing this Sunday on ABC yeah, on at ABC. 8 p.m. And you were saying before that there's also a Thanksgiving episode. Oh yeah. Which is news to me. I only thought there was the Great yeah, Pumpkin and then... It's not good Christmas. at all. I know. It's not good. I don't if you, if you want to rank too. them, it would be like Christmas and then it's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown and then the Thanksgiving wow. episode. that's pretty harsh. Yeah, it's not good. Well, I'm not gonna be tuning in. Yeah. Well, next on deck, we have uh, Stranger Things. Yeah. Which we know that Marie is really excited about. I am very excited, very excited about it. Four days. <laughs> and counting. Yeah, until uh, Netflix airs the second season, so I'm really excited for that. Um, big fan of Winona Ryder, so she's one of the main characters. And um, I'm really a big fan of Eleven as well, and I might be her for Halloween. So. Really? What do you use yeah. her? Her um, frilly, girly dress that she wears, um, and then I would put like a little red for the nosebleed that she always has. Will you shave your head or? <laughs> no, no, definitely not. Maybe a ball cap. Right, oh, well. that's a good idea. Oh, she also has like a blonde wig, doesn't she? She was yeah, a blonde she, wig. Yeah, she has a blonde wig. Oh, so you can like work that. Yeah, you can I work, can work yeah. that. So I can. I stopped like halfway through season one, so I'm not really entirely sure of what happened at the end. So do we like end on a major cliffhanger or is there like a little settle down and a new plot point coming in? Yes, actually, um, one of the characters, I'm not gonna say who, is a spoiler, but um, it goes on to the other side. So we're left wondering what happens or if they've uh, died or not. And what would you rank the show? Uh, nine out of 10. Wow. Wow. I haven't seen it at all, so I'm going to have to give it a five, and when I do start watching it, you know, maybe the ratings will go up. Yeah. What about you, Victor? I'll give it a seven, because I did enjoy it when yeah. I watched it, but for some reason I stopped. What was your... I think I just got bored. Yeah. I don't know. It was like my cup of tea. Like, I, you know the movie Sense8? Yeah. I really like that movie because I feel like it's the same style, so yeah. maybe if I gave more uh, input or more, more motivation to watch the show, I would enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Well, it's clear to see that our top two are very Halloween-based, yes. but we do have other scary. choices that are very more comedic yes, and normal. I have <laughs> to bring up Veep. I think that this show is amazing, and Julia Louise Dreyfus is the star, and she's the Veep. And I've never seen Seinfeld, so this is my first time seeing her on TV. And then I started watching Curb Your Enthusiasm, and she kind of guest stars a little there. So I think it's really interesting to see how she changes from Curb Your Enthusiasm to Veep. And I just, I love the show. Like, I yeah. can't get enough. Have you guys seen it? Yeah. I have, yeah. Yeah. But, like, I, I feel like most of the comedic side of Veep is their abnormality and their very, it, it's not what you expect the political party yeah. to be in real life. Because even if you, like, it's so different from Scandal. Oh, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. Scandal is so, like, dark. And mm -hmm. Veep is so, like... I just think it's hilarious. Yeah. Like I, it's so it's a very interesting so, take on political. So do you think that today's political party kind of uh, hinders the comedic aspect of Veep? Because they're both like yeah. very abnormal right now. You right. Know? I think that when the show started, they began to like, you know, play on the political party and like make fun of it. But now we're in like political chaos. Oh, yeah, so, exactly. yeah. so I even think like Julia Louise Dreyfus even addresses it in her Emmy speech, right? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. She said like, we're going to have an impeachment uh, plot point, but we're deciding not to because yeah. it's going to happen in real life. Yeah, she's very vocal about that. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely love her. Um, so speaking of uh, female characters, um, I chose 30 Rock, which is written uh, by Tina Fey, who's a big role model of mine. And best and, friends with. And best yeah. friends with Julia Louise Dreyfus. So um, 
They have a Halloween episode, which I thought was really hilarious, and um, Tracy Morgan and Jimmy Fallon like try to kill each other in this episode. It's really, really funny. And um, what, so, you, have you guys ever seen Thirty Rock? I have, but I don't remember that episode in particular, though. Mm-hmm. I watched it a long time ago. But I don't, I, yeah. I, yeah. I've only seen it once or twice, honestly, and I know you're a big fan. Huge fan. <laughs> they just took it off of Netflix, though. Oh so my god! So How am I huge bummer. I may be wrong about this, but were there rumors that they're gonna bring it back? Is that or that just in my head? I think that that's the Mean Girls. They're bringing oh, back Mean Girls. I'm which tying Tina Fey also today. wrote that. Yeah, right. I'm tying it. Really great in. movie. Yeah. And back on like the comedy trend, I'm really into The Good Place right now. Oh, with I, um, Kristen Bell. Kristen Bell, yes, yes exactly. Yes. She voiced Anna in Frozen. That's how I remember her from. <laughs> um, but I watched the whole first season this weekend. Wow. And it, it's actually very good. I just watched it out of boredom, but I actually got really into it and very hooked. Um, so the main plot of it is that Kristen Bell, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, Kristen Bell, she is put into the good place of, after she dies. So it's kind of like the heaven, but okay. she's not actually supposed to be there. <gasps> so it's like a mistake? Yeah, basically. Wow. And it's a big twist at the end of the first season. And like it just sets up everything for like the next season. So which is season currently, two? Oh, yeah, season two now. is currently airing wow. on NBC. Uh, I believe at 8 p.m. on Tuesdays. Oh, wow. Yeah, so make sure to check it out. Is there, um, so I've seen the first episode actually. Oh, really? A good place. Yeah, and I... The only problem I had is it with like the animation because I stopped yeah. at the part where she like got into her little house and there was like this big ant mm-hmm. like crushing everything and that's where it just lost me. I was like, this would never happen. And I know I watch a lot of fiction shows, obviously, mm-hmm. but I just, I couldn't, couldn't get past that. Yeah. It's kind of the thing you have to set your belief aside yeah. because like it's supposed to be like the afterlife. So like anything can that's happen. True. But yeah. I do agree with you. Like the CGI is like not yeah. the greatest, but it has like the same like, NBC style, I would say, of like every true. comedic show that they want to have, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Have you ever seen it? Yeah, I really love it. I think it's it's really bubbly and, and sweet. Yeah. So the whole time you're just kind of getting this overload of kindness because it's supposed to represent heaven. But, and then it's also kind of funny. I mean, yeah. it has a lot of comedic lines that really hit well, yeah. I think, with a lot of audiences. And at the same time, it's kind of dark because it's like, yeah. it is after, like, like, about the afterlife and also, like, about, yeah. like, her, she might be going to hell instead yeah, of heaven. Yeah, yeah. So it's just a very, like, when you really think about it, it's like, oh, like, she's not in a good situation right <laughs> now. <laughs> that's so funny. Well, that's so all true. the time we have today on the We Watch Show. I'm Victor Riccio. I'm Maria Aiello. And I'm Michelle Garville. Thank you so much, and see you next week.